Today is my day off, my only day off, and all I've been doing is filming, doing laundry, doing stuff around the house. It's been lovely. I try to have my day off, no makeup, but I had to put makeup because I'm filming. Not that great of makeup because I don't have to worry about it being on all day. But I just want to share with you, it's going to be on Stacey's hamper. I'm obsessed with my pop. I've been making popcorn every night now. I'm obsessed. You can put whatever you want in this. It's on Stacy's hamper. You can put olive oil, put whatever you want. You put it in the microwave for like two or three minutes. And you have amazing popcorn. Not chemical tasting like in the bags. But um, I'm just loving this. Loving it too much, in fact. Just been eating popcorn like almost every day. Um, you just It has a little... To measure it on the top it's just very easy but enjoy my day I'll share with you everything I'm trying to film this way instead of vertical or horizontal or whatever I'm trying to do better so I'm wearing my pulp shirt and uh, oh by the way we're still together they didn't think it was gonna last but me and Barry still together yes I choose the bear this is my new boyfriend Barry we're very happy and I get to see body count later this week I cannot wait Birthday month in full effect, all your Maybays and Gemini season soon to be around. Woo! Having fun. Stay tuned. More to be announced soon. Aw, Barry. My boyfriend, Barry. And yes, been hanging out with the kitties. You're going to see lots of them too. Cheers. Okay, I was just thinking nostalgic wise when I was a kid. And I don't know if anyone had the same thing. Okay. My grandparents, I was raised with my grandparents, my, my, not with my parents, but my grandparents. And we would go camping. We had a RV um, place, like it was, well, it was camping, anyway, it was called Mountain Lakes now, but it used to be Lido Creek, Lloyd's Lakes. It was in San Bernardino, it was called Lloyd's Lakes, and then it changed to Mountain Lakes, but it's in Lido Creek. And we would go camping up there a lot. And then they made an RV resort and all that thing. I think it's still up right now called Mountain Lakes. But, where was I going with this? Um, I, I guess it's, it goes beyond this, but when, when I was a kid and they would have adult functions or whatever and kids were around, you know, like family or friend functions outside, they would get big trash cans, fill it with ice, and then put lots of soda in it. And the soda they used to have at the time, those are my cats playing, you guys stop, be nice. I'm going to separate you guys. They would have Shasta, Shasta Cola, but they would have different Shasta. They had lemon lime, diet lemon lime, uh, black cherry uh normal cherry cola they would have god i can't even think of all the different flavors but there was so many flavors i can't even i can't even think of it anymore there was ginger ale there was like there was diet and regular and it was just so many flavors if you remember shasta cola had so many flavors like a rainbow of flavors and they put them in trash cans all over the place and us kids god we'd go through so many sodas this is why i probably don't drink water because water wasn't an option <laughs> You don't drink water. My grandparents, basically, all I saw them drink was either coffee, beer, or hard alcohol, which is my MO. But back then, it was just sodas. And and so you would just drink soda upon soda upon soda. And you try this flavor. You try that flavor. And then you would dig. And then the ice would melt. And so it would be like ice water. And you would dig to the bottom of the barrel. And these trash cans were like barrels. They were like metal barrels. And you go digging, almost like bobbing for Shasta Colas. And, and you would find a certain flavor and you try you try to find each flavor and granted there were so many flavors back then I miss I miss Shasta is Shasta still around if it is it's not around in my neighborhood but they used to have every different flavor and they had diet back then probably not the best diet now because there's probably like all that chemical stuff but oh my god I wanted to film this earlier in the week but as I was going to work for um strawberries do, doing this the strawberry farm um earlier this week I was driving this during the day mind you there was this big truck, and I forget the make of the truck. I think it was a Lexus, but it was a big, big truck behind me, and they had their lights on. It might have been your normal daylights, but it looked like your headlights, but there was something different with them. They were, I guess you call it halogen, or I don't know. They're just different, but for some reason, they made, they, they looked like they were blinking, almost like they were like a, a strobe light, but they weren't. I can't explain it. They were so bright. It gave the illusion it was like a strobe light, but it wasn't. Almost to the point where I had to turn my rear, ver my rear view mirror askew so I couldn't see it. And I had to change my, my side mirrors askew so I couldn't see it because I started getting nauseous from just in the corner of my eye looking at these headlights. 
they were giving the illusion of, of strobe lights. And usually I can handle strobe lights. But you know how some people have, um, if they, you have epilepsy, epilepsy, am I saying it right? If you have epilepsy, strobe lights could could cause you to have to have a, an episode, like a, a panic episode or like a, a medical emergency. It was like that. I was getting so nauseous and so sick. And my eyes were like jumping up and down. I had to turn my rear view mirror and my side mirrors away just so from the corner of my eye, I couldn't see this. I don't know if other people are experiencing this, but it was a Lexus truck or SUV. It was beige, but I kept wanting to see the make of the car. But if I looked to see the make of the car, I would look at the headlights and I would get, I literally got nauseous and sick where it felt like I was going to have a seizure. I'm not even kidding. So if anyone witnessed that, like, and why would they do that? It, it, it wasn't a strobe light, but it gave you the illusion of a strobe light, if I'm making sense. I'm sure I'm not the only one that sees this. So I think it was Alexis. So anyway, just I would share that. And why stop with that, whatever that is that, oh, seriously, I'm getting sick just thinking about it. While I was driving to work the other day, I literally laughed out loud. And I don't do that very often. Now, the reason I laughed out loud is I was at a stoplight and... There was a guy on a bike crossing the street on his bike. He was smoking a cigarette, riding his bike, and in his right hand, that he had the handlebars, but in his right hand holding as well, was a gas can. But it was like a like your plastic red gas can container, you know, the ones you have for emergencies in the trunk. That's plastic. It's it's black, I mean it's it's red plastic. And he was holding it in his right hand on the handlebars and he had the other hand on the other handlebar and he had a, a lit cigarette in his mouth. And I'm laughing because I'm thinking, okay, if you smoke, you know, you gotta, you gotta take one finger, like you gotta take one hand and, and get the ashes out. Like you can't keep it in your, unless you're, I guess you're talented. But then I'm just thinking like, I go, I wonder which hand he's going to use to um, grab the cigarette. Is it like, I'm thinking, is he going to release the hand that has the the gas can because the fumes of the cigarette is it going to blow up i know it's morbid to think hopefully it didn't happen but maybe he lives on the edge maybe he lives on the edge i just thought that was the funniest thing he's riding a bike with a can of gas and smoking a cigarette on a bike and i just wish i had more time to follow him i you know if i wasn't going to work maybe i would have followed him and seen what would have happened i'm pretty sure everything worked out okay but just living on the edge, just things you see out and about. Well, I found these in the alley, so I brought them in. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. I gotta fix this room. Some this is just a storage room for now. And yes, I haven't gotten my presents yet, my birthday presents. Thank you so much. Uh, I've just been busy working, but I need to fix this room up. But I found these in the alley. Can't wait to find a home for them and and organize this room, my spare room. I need to organize it so bad. But those are the new addition. Can't wait to play with that. Okay, until I know what to do with things, I just stacked them up this way. So these are my new things I found in the alley. <laughs> I know this 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 room is all courtesy of things that were given to me or found in an alley, but that's what's what happens. So a TV Mike Timpson gave me because I want to uh, record some of my VHA, uh, yeah, my videotapes. Put them in those flowers fell, and I got to get those guitars. But uh, yeah, so I know it's a mess. This is basically a storage room right now because I've been busy working. You know, I just been that's another mirror I found in the alley. A lot of things I find in the alley. Uh, and gifts. Uh, but um, yeah, this is my spare bedroom and that folds down to be a bed and stuff. Actually, it's a nice, nicer thing under there, but I put the, the blanket on there for the cats. And as you know, that's that's a walk-in closet behind there. Uh, but yeah, things are coming together. Just things I find in the alley. I'm kind of liking this hodgepodge of things figuring out. And so once work gets slowed down, I will uh, fix this room better. But in the meantime, it's not bad. Uh, it's not bad at all. My cats love it. There's all the cat toys right there. They love playing in this room. This is the little kitty cat room, the kitty room, basically the kitty room. So I do have a nursery and then I have a bar that I do chin ups and pull ups on. Uh, yeah, that's the clown room, <laughs> the kitty room. All right. That's the progress. And I probably showed this to you before, but all these eyeshadow palettes I got when I was a little girl, my aunt or someone bought me these and I still use them to this day. Like I was a little girl. This is it. Ultima two. And uh, these, I still use them. Like, look, I still use that one. And they're Ultima 2. I don't know if that's still around. So so um, that one I, I use a lot. And these are the purples. And I like them. Like, right? Talk about not throwing things away. Like everyone says, you know why they say throw things away, bacteria, blah, blah. It's because they want to make more money. Screw it. I Everything's fine with me. That one I like. I like this palette, too. This is a good one. 
and this is this that one right there and then I got this one this this one's the greens I like these like I still like I have others don't get me wrong that's why they're not gone but like herb like paradise like like look at the names on them bikini mango glow like like I was a child I, I wasn't even allowed to wear makeup when I bought the, when I got these as um a gift I wasn't even allowed to use makeup then but um they came in like this I don't know this I thought it was so cool and it took me a long like I'm still going through them <laughs> we're talking decades here folks decades so yeah okay just I will show you my little eyes shadow palettes and yes I have many more since I was an Ava I'm an Avon lady still so I have lots more but these are my faves new things I bought too I bought this one I like it this pizza cutter but it's good for other things like cutting vegetables and you know what you could use a pizza cutter also for cutting vegetables but I also ordered um, scissors and uh, this chopper so I'm waiting for that to come from Amazon so in a little bit I'll probably put this on um, my Stacy's hamper but this is kind of cute you know it's, I, I like it it has like a little uh, carrying case so uh, this is my new finds as well Felix loves being on the handlebars of my stationary bike and yes I do ride it but um, he's shedding a lot because it's getting to be summer so I put an extra blanket on there uh, but that's little Felix's little spot I love it this is dusty spots he likes to sleep on the birdie cage and of course I put a mat on there it's like a pizza mat and I do de-lint it every once in a while but it's tough especially with birds and all the feathers I got a vacuum tomorrow and that little lump in there is Nigel. He likes to go underneath the covers. And yes, I check the security cameras when I'm at work, and he will spend all day under the covers. I think it's so cute. <laughs> and right now, this is Katie's spot in my bed. She changed the spot once in a while, but this is her spot right now in my bed. And yeah, I have a lot of pillows under there. They're um, maternity pillows that I like to cuddle with. And she likes to cuddle too. She's the best hugger in the world. But this is Katie's bed right now. California King for my princess my day off and uh doing filming and stuff and watching body count because i'm going to go see them live at uh the house of blues in anaheim and i don't know it just brought up this story like or anyway when i was growing up i think i told this story before but i don't know where i put it at but my high school was kind of rough but then when i started going there it got better like it got very like candy coated very good but when I first arrived, like the, my first freshman year, it was rough. It was still going through its rough phases. And then after I left, it went back to its rough phases. But for some reason, during high school, it was very much happy days. It was, it was awesome. But I remember the first years of going to this high school, it was really rough. We used to have riots, and we used to go home. If there was a riot, there was stabbings. It was gangs. Um, it was usually the cholos against the black gangs and stuff like that. It was... I don't know the names of the gangs and stuff. I remember I accused one of them because they did steal money from my purse and they made me have a meeting with them or something. Like they forced me to have a meeting with them. And I'm like, what the hell? Um, but also they were so, God, they would beat up. They would target someone and they would beat one person up. And it would be not fair because it'd be like 20 guys against one person. And um, I remember this guy, Bernie. He was a sweet guy, Bernie. And he was just from India, and he was, like, the sweetest, nerdiest guy ever. Like, he, like, was Fez from from um, the 70s show, you know? And they beat him up so badly. And um, for I don't even know why. Um, but he used to take my bus. And so he didn't show up for school for, like, the longest time. I don't even know if he ever came back to school. But I remember being on the bus, and, they, and we came to school, and all the cholos were waiting for Bernie. They thought he was going to be on the bus because they wanted to beat him up again. I don't know why, but I just remember seeing them. And I stayed on the bus till the very last because they were waiting for they were waiting till the last person. I was so mad. This is before guy cholos would beat up girls. They wouldn't beat up girls. They would have their girl cholos beat them up. But the guys wouldn't beat up the girls usually. Time has changed. Time has changed. But I was so mad at them that I waited for the last person on the bus and, I walk, and when I came off the bus, I came out with an attitude slowly. And I looked at them and I flipped them off. I go, ha ha, I'm the last one on the bus. He's not here, fellas. And I was just so... Anyway, I would say I would do that again, but I probably would do that again. I've been really lucky. I've only been in a few fights. And, of course, I lost them all. I'm not good at it. Uh, but, um, yeah, I was so mad. Luckily, it was during the times when Guy Cholos, like I said, when I, they did steal money by, on my purse, by the way, they did. And I accused them, and, but they, 
they had a meeting with me where they were like, now, do you have any evidence? I felt like I was a politician. Do you have any evidence? And I just like, I just listened to what they had to say until they let me go. And luckily they let me go. And I only got threatened a few times by the girl cholos. They didn't like me for some reason. Oh, I think I know why. I had a bathing suit that was see-through when I was in swimming class. But I didn't know it was see-through and they thought I did it on purpose. Anyway, that's that's another story. But um, anyway, I don't even know how I got on the subject. But yeah, that's when I challenged a gang of cholos. And they didn't do anything. They just, kind of, they just walked away like they didn't even hear what I said. They were just after Bernie. And I was just so upset. Anyway, I'm going to get on to uh, listening to Body Count, so I'll check in with you later. Watching uh, an Ice T concert, and he was saying, you know, good song in the first, like, so many chords. And he's right. I hate intro to songs. Not always, but uh, 75 to maybe, I don't know, 85%. I do not like intros to songs. I just want the song to start. Like, I would love to, I just, I like to fast forward to the meat of the matter, like, just get to the song. Just get to the song. Of course, that's with me with everything. <laughs> like, just get to the meat of the matter. I'm just, I just don't like the dilly-dally. Like, this long intro of the song, like, la, 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 la. Get to the song. That's, I guess that's why I like punk rock and I like um, alternative and stuff. But just get to the meat of the matter. Of course, then I do, like, my 70s glam rock, so I'm contradicting myself. But, um, yeah, I do sometimes fast-forward to songs. So, anyway, I'm going to continue watching. Continue on. I came in here. They're both on my bed getting sun. The afternoon sun comes here, so they get their sun. Katie loves a spot, but then Nigel, oh, now he has to get up and clean himself. But he was like cute, so cute, laying next to his sister, getting their sun on. I don't want to wreck them. I'm in the other room. I'll let you be. Sorry, sorry. I'll let you be. They're all disturbed. I don't want to disturb them. But look how cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. Okay, I'll let you go. Okay, I just got an invite to a high school reunion. I haven't been to my high school reunion since the first time. Okay, you know you graduated when you're 18, right? So when you go when you're 28, you're pretty much the same person, like personality-wise. Now, physically, everyone's different. When you get to your high school reunion, if you go the first one when you're 28, okay, first, physically, the fat people are skinny, the skinny people are fat, um, the nerdy people look um different the hot people are not hot the cold the ugly people are hot like it's just opposite world opposite world and then you get the people that got married the high school the high school like uh lovers that the that romance and they actually got married to their high school romances and they have babies and families and then you look at them they're only 28 but they seem to age like 40 years because they fall into that 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 gap or that those lies that you must conform and be old married person when we we know now better that you don't have to but then it was like different so um and yeah and I was a little heavier then at, at my high school reunion because I had fibroid tumors and I didn't know it and I was sick and stuff and and people still made fun of me so I still got the same treatment but it was still fun don't get me wrong but I haven't been since now this high school reunion is going to be different this it's not just the year that I graduate they're going to combine five years so there's going to be a lot of people I don't know because a lot of people are going to be like that came before me and came after me, you know? So uh, they're going to be like older people and younger people. Like I'm going to be kind of in the middle of this high school reunion. Um, but it's a hundred dollars a ticket and I'm vegan. So I know nothing on the menu is going to be my jam, but I'm just thinking about just going there, even though it's a hundred dollars ticket and just like checking it out. Like, why not? It's just, it's like a free show, not free. It's a hundred dollars, but I don't know. Like, like, because I don't know when the next one's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of people that died from, like, certain things that they've done in their life and stuff like that. Nothing like, you know, not age-wise. We're not that old yet. But, um, I don't know. I'm thinking about doing it. I know I'm going to make a fool of myself, but I do that anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm thinking about going. What do you think? Should I go to my high school reunion? It's been many decades. I don't know. I don't want to tell you how many decades, but I was homecoming queen. So I want to do a thing where, um, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I put a shout out, like, if. I wonder if I could get a picture with all the homecoming queens. But, see, not everyone's going to go. And not anyone knows about it. It's not like, um, I mean, I got the invite, but not everyone did. Like, I mean, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. And it's limited. They said, get your buy your tickets now because it's limited. So, I'm going to give you the heads up. Okay, first of all, let me know in the comments below. Should I go to my high school reunion? <laughs> Should I document it? <laughs> I'm going to make a fool of myself, but... What the hell? I'm thinking about just doing it because now I don't care. The first year was this little, uh, hmm, and like, you know, I was sick. I didn't know I had the fibroid tumors and I didn't know how sick I was at the time. Um, 
and I was really bloated and, and I was really fat, but not fat. I was mainly, I mean, you know, I had six tumors the size of grapefruits and I had like six pounds of tumorage, tumorage in me. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'll keep you posted on that. Okay, stay tuned. This thing I love, thank you, Rebecca, for getting me this. I have the Bissell, but this works better. I thought this wasn't going to be as good because it only has a single um, brush and the Bissell has two, but this picks up better. I know I have a lot of snags in my carpet because of my cats, I know, and this carpet, I installed it myself, 2000, 2007, 2007, oh yeah, okay, anyway, this works, and so yeah, I got a lot of problems with the carpet, yeah, this is like almost 20 years old carpet that I installed myself, um, it is the way it is, but this is amazing, just go to stacyshamper.com, I'll put it on there. I don't know if you can see me because it's dark and I'm watching TV, but, oh, I got to breeze right in my nose. I got a thing in my nose to help me breathe. But I'll just talk about Britney Spears needing conservative ship again because she's, she's going off the rails. You know, guy rock stars do it all the time and no one bats an eye. But a woman, Britney Spears, oh, my God, save her. I'm not saying she doesn't need help. Obviously needs help. But there's a guy rock stars that needs help all the time. But they're like, oh, he's a rock star. That's what rock stars do. They just always love him. God, this lighting's weird. I don't know why he's doing that. It's the TV, I guess. But anyway, it's just really weird how, okay, Britney, uh, all the people in the world needs it. All, but yet, guy rock stars do it all the time. Drugs, doing crazy crap and doing exactly the same thing she's doing. But, oh, it's a rock star. It's a guy rock star. Oh, well. I don't know. It just blows my mind, the... The double standards. Mind blowing. Thank you for listening to my day off ramblings. It's what I do. Follow me for more ramblings at stacyburke.com. Have a groovy day. Peace.